Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Haraka Kodash. Give double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and the house of David is rising. And to all the sincere Akim, keep on pushing. We want to hit a couple of precepts and look at a word, a word search in this particular lesson. So we're going to read from 2 Peter 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, ye shall never fail. Carry on now. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly unto the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and our Saviour, Yehoah Mashiach. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye knew them and be established in the present. So this is the word that stuck with me, stuck out with me. And this was brought out a little while back, being diligent, yeah, to make our calling more sure. And we did so to the best of our ability last year, hasting the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yoshai. And we now, we now know we're in the year of turn up, year 2022, year of turn up. And we've seen already, he's coming with a bang, enough judgments. So I want to look at this word here, man, establish. Because if you do the apply these precepts here, you you shall be that word there. Let's look into go into it. We're looking to be established, man. Right. Here what he says here. Strong's G forty seven forty one. Stay Stay Rizzo. See what it says on this psalm um, word here established because you know I went into this psalm um, when I just tapped in blue letter established man there's a whole load of there's a whole load of precepts man see there this is a prominent word throughout the scriptures established many many precepts so we're gonna hit some precepts on this word here just to see the foundation and build on a solid foundation that's the vibration, that's the sentiment that comes around. When you look at it, that comes about. Establish. Building on a solid foundation. Year 2022. Hasten the day of your Shimishai. Yeah, and I've, the statistic on the judgments of last year, all the judgments that um, occurred, you know, within our own people, the two thirds. The celebrities that sold their soul to the devil and and no one can't say the same prophecy because prophecies are being fulfilled over 200 people over 200 celebrities were judged last year so if this is the year of turn up it's not looking good it's not looking good for the wicked get right repent the kingdom is nigh man over 200 celebrities were judged in the year 2021 so that's a sadistic statistic and there's a, 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 a understanding on how the Most High is turning up and he's already turned up and, you know as as we seen this year came in with a bang man so establish point is already made but I'm gonna look in the word <laughs> the point is already made even so early in the video the point is already made he says to make stable place firm set fast fixed to strengthen to make firm to render constant confirm one's mind establish from the derivative set fast to turn right in a certain direction figuratively confirm Establish steadfastly, set, strengthen. There you go. Steadfastly, set, strengthen. I want to see what Google has to say. And we're going to come back to the blue letter.
the meaning establishes set up on a firm or permanent basis set up start begin get going put in place right put in place yeah man most of putting his kingdom in in his place you know and prophecy will be fulfilled is what does it say here uh establish is another example here it says lengthen lengthen st stern off establia from latin establia make firm in a nutshell make firm from establia uh, yeah to make firm in the latin and in the french ilia establish the old french establish lengthen right so let me hit another one here in um etymology you can see the point is already made but you know um, repetition is a father of learning man to cause to stand still to cause to stand still establish sculpture set up erect erect build yeah man most I going to erect and make his kingdom stand firmly as we, as we see here so our kingdom, as it says in Daniel 2 and 44, is going to set up a kingdom that will stand to everlasting, will stand forever. And it will um, put an end to all these weak, unstable kingdoms that are, haven't been established. But our kingdom will be established forever, man. So, yeah, man, let's hit, let's hit another precept. These are precepts, when you look, when you go into it, man. There's a lot there. Just gonna hit one and two. I'm I'm really happy that this the point has already been made, but we like to read some bring out some precepts, man, because they really hit the ball out of the park. This is one in um Proverbs twelve and nineteen says the lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is to be for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> a lying tongue is only for a moment, man. Yeah, the truth, the truth always wins, because a lie is just a a breath that here today and gone tomorrow. A lie is here today and gone tomorrow. Short lived. It's just a little. If you put it into the context of, you got the marathon run, you got the sprint, you got the two hundred meter, four hundred meter, eight hundred meter. A lie would be a a one a one hundred meter sprint, very quick. Here today, gone tomorrow. But a truth would be established. It says that the lip of truth shall be established forever. So it, you would class that as a marathon. Long thing. Long and drawn out. And it puts down roots. It puts down roots and it grows up into a firm tree as it talks about the trees in Isaiah. Isaiah 65. It has a long life. Trees represent long life. Eternal life. So that's if you put if you're dealing with the tree of life, if you're dealing with the truth, your truth, the truth shall be established forever, man. Enough said on that one. Let's bring out another precept. Psalms. Yeah. Psalms 80. Psalm 78. And 68, Psalm 78 and 68. Just to make the point more prominent in our minds. Lord willing, this is edifying to all the sincere Akim. Psalm 78, 68 says, But chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion which loved which he loved and he built his sanctuary like high places like the earth which he have established forever right he chose the tribe of Judah which we know David came out of the tribe of Judah and Yehoah Yehoah Shai otherwise known as Jesus by the Christians came out of the tribe of Judah and he says and he built his sanctuary like high places like the earth 
which he have established forever. Right. And he says that he loved. But he chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount of Zion, which he loved. He chose David also in 70. In 70 he chose David also, his servant, and took him from the sheepfold. From the following, right. So there you have it, man. He chose David also, his servant, and took him from the sheepfold. Back to 69. And he built his sanctuary like high places, like the earth which he established forever. You got the gist of that, the point. We're just hitting on the point, man. Let's bring out some more precepts here. Oh, this is a this is a nice chapter. I'm not gonna read all of it, but when you look it look at this chapter you see the little controversy what um Saul had with David. Saul was jealous of David because he became king and Saul was rejected and it makes a point in we know that um David was pursued in the mountains up in the caves and he was pursuing Saul was pursuing him you know he became a fugitive David had to be be a fugitive and hide from Saul because King Saul was became demented you know strong delusions took over him he lost the spirit and he pursued David to try to kill David a righteous man David so let's see one and two verses here See if we can get the context a bit here in 12. It says, The Lord judged between me. Right, this is after uh, David cut the skirt of Saul off. Just to prove to him that he could have killed him. But he, he said, No, nah, he didn't want to do that. Let's look, let's look at 10. It says, Behold this day, thine eyes have seen how that the Lord had delivered thee today in mine hand. And hand in the cave. And some obeyed me, killed thee. But mine eyes spared thee, and I said, I will not put forth mine hand against my Lord, for he is the Lord's anointed. Moreover, my father see ye, my, my father see ye, see the skirt of thy robe in mine hand, for in that I cut off the skirt of the robe, and kill thee not. Know thou, and see that there is neither evil, nor transgression in mine hand, and I have not sinned against thee, yet thou huntest my soul to take it. Right, you see there? He took, he cut the skirt off uh, King Saul, just to prove to him that he could have killed him, but he didn't. He had mercy. And this is what he says in 12. He says, The Lord judge between me and thee, and the Lord avenge me of thee, but my hand shall not be upon thee. See, so he said, He in righteousness, he said, I, I won't kill thee, but I'll leave it to the Most High, Yehoah. Yehoah. Yeah, the true God to judge between me and you. Because I'm not going to cut off the skirt of the anointed. I'll act righteously. And we know at the end what happened with King Saul. He ended up falling upon his own sword. So, if you want to get the context of that, you can read it. The whole chapter is a good chapter. Just read. This is the point I'm looking for. In 20 it says, And now behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be king. This is what Saul, King Saul is saying to David because how he was acting in, a, in righteousness. And now behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be king and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in thine hand. Right. So I just wanted to hit that word there, establish. Powerful word. When you go into it, powerful word, and we know our kingdom is being built up, yeah. And this is just the beginning. In the year 2022, we see the Most High is turning up. We see the fires over there in Colorado. People are crying. People are homeless, and like I say, it's just the beginning. There's judgments already in the earth. People are there's a whole heap of controversy over the the judgment of rap the news, and it's just the beginning of the year. But our earth, our kingdom shall be firmly established, man, throughout this, the whole globe. And all the wicked shall mourn and scorn, yeah? It says, to make stable, place firmly, to set fast, to fix. Yeah, this is the word, um, online biblical uses of the, the word establish. To strengthen, to make firm, to render constant. Right, and we're doing just that with our minds. Right, 
the, the truth and as as um Yehoshua said the truth is in your hearts the kingdom is in your hearts as it says here confirm one's mind so the truth is stable and we're making it firm firm to last to fix to strengthen to make firm and it starts in our minds to render constant confirm one's mind so the word of Yehovah Shimon Shai forgive me the spirit to do this video it was edifying to all the sincere and everything the wicked have done to us past, present and future is falling upon their own head and the house of David is rising.